August 20th, 2019, and John and I are headed into the mountains for another stone sheep hunt. We're headed in again this year with AA Packers out of Prophet River, British Columbia. Our packer Nick started trailing into the base camp about six days ago with a string of 10 horses. Due to the high rivers this year, they're stuck about halfway in. So when John and I land at base camp, we're gonna be on our own. After a 30 hour delay due to fog, we finally landed into base camp. As we flew over, we actually saw Nick and his pack string right in the middle of the river. So they're headed up, which is good. They're moving again. Thankfully, Nick had this uh, Zodiac here at camp. So we pumped it up. Now it's time to get across the river and paddle as fast as we can. Made it across, relatively uneventful, so that was good. Uh, getting pretty late here on the first afternoon, so we're gonna take off, get as far as we can up the mountain, and then um, hike the rest tomorrow. I think every man has an internal draw to the mountains to truly test their abilities in a rugged off-grid adventure where there is no lifeline other than what they are packing on their backs and to put themselves up against a test against his creation. A stone sheep hunt is the ultimate test of preparation, planning, and outdoorsmanship. It's not just a pursuit of a singular animal, but the pursuit of an experience with the added bonus to harvest the most elusive and sought after sheep in the world. End of day two here. We knew without the horses, we were gonna have to push pretty hard to get back into ram country, and did we ever today. Up and over about three ranges. Looking forward to getting in the tent. We did get to see a mom grizzly with uh, two cubs curled up on the side of the hill taking a nap, which was awesome to see. And we did see one you. So tomorrow, we're up and over that guy. And tomorrow afternoon, we should be back into the ram country. Morning of day three here. We got ram spotted. We got a group of six. There's like one six-year-old, two, like seven-ish, eight-ish, um, about three-quarter curl. They're really nice. There's one, really tight, really heavy, um, but can't get a good look at him yet. It's game time, baby. That ram, his left comes real nice, way up, breaks the bridge of the nose, and his right is broomed off about the bottom of his curl. So it's definitely legal, and man, he's gorgeous. Here we go. We're gonna drop off this hill here, climb up the backside, get up to that knob, and then hopefully those rams are gonna be right across on that far hill there, where we last saw them. And now we wait. It's like three, seven, maybe eight year olds up there, way too close to call. None of them break the nose, so it'll be shooting on age. Um, it'll be way too close. And we see five of the six, and we're waiting for the big one. No idea where he is. They're kind of on this ridge knoll thing, so he very easily could be on the other side or just tucked in behind a rock where we can't see. But we've glassed everything, like 350 yards. We've got a great setup, peeked up around these rocks, and they have no idea we're here, so. It's time to wait him out. He just came over the hill. He was he bedded before we were able to get a good look at his good side. But just looking at his broom side, he's got to be eight. He's got like three rings right by the bases. He's super heavy. He looks really nice. So just waiting to confirm. Just taking our time. No rush. We've got all day. Oh my gosh, 350 yards. He's sitting right here. Let's go. When that ram finally stood up and turned to the other side, it got super windy. I could not make that final confirmation on age or length. We had a little bit different angle than what we did when we initially saw him, and I was second guessing a little bit, 
He was still super heavy and long. I just wanted to get that last confirmation that you have to when you take a ram. And I couldn't get it before he walked away. So we decided the best best way to approach him um, after they had looped around the backside was to hike up and peek over the back. And we checked that backside and we couldn't, we couldn't find him. So we worked back to the front side where we were, had originally seen him. And as we popped up, boom, there was the band a hundred yards below us, but we could not find that big one. So we sat on him for like 45 minutes still couldn't find the big one so he looped around the back and we're gonna come up and over directly above him and look to our left and boom there he is 30 yards At 30 yards, it was pretty easy to tell. He was way above his nose. Um, so I popped up, free-handed a shot. I mean, I just blew it. I, I'm not, I have nothing else I can say. Um, I've thought it, I can close my eyes and picture it through, looking through this scope right now. I, I don't know what happened. I mean, I just blew it. That ram never presented another clear shot. So all we could do was sit and watch him run away. Nothing left to do but pick your head up on that next mount. You know you're high when you have to point your camera like that to look at goats. Rock skin. Kind of the moment of truth. It's day six. We finally made it to the to the crest that I've been dreaming about for the past eight months. I've had this this hillside circled that we're about to open up. Uh, it was kind of the center of where we saw all the sheep last year. So I've got high hopes, and we're about to open up. We've hiked along for we came from way back there, but we're about to crest this saddle. So hopefully, come on. crested the hill and we did find some sheep on the hill just lambs and ewes but we did find three guys and horses uh, on that far ridge coming down into the basin so a little disheartening but shouldn't affect us too much we're kind of hunting back that way anyway so hopefully we won't cross paths and we won't bug each other but it's a beautiful day what can more can you ask for we've we've glassed this hillside all day long and nothing so we loop all the way around, and then we decided to come drop down into it to get water. And as we're hiking down into it, John's like, yeah, let's sit in glass. So sure enough, pops up, ram immediately. So I don't think he's full curl, he's close, um, but he definitely deserves a closer look. Could be um, legal on age, so we're gonna look. He's really pretty, but at least we'll go get close to him. So. That ram ended up slipping us that night, but we located him the next morning. We spent half the day patterning him and making a plan for the afternoon. The cool thing about this ram, um, so last night in the tent, I've got a bunch of pictures of rams that I've seen or from um, online that I like to look at to reference reference rings and locations, um, keep it fresh. And I was looking through and I was like, gosh dang it, that ram looks, looks familiar. Sure enough, 
it's this guy. So we had him at seven last year, so we're pretty sure he's eight. We just gotta go get a, take a closer look and see if we can find that last ring by his hairline. Here's the footage that I ran from last year. We were one ridge over and jumped him up at 25 yards and we were quickly able to age him at seven. After he crested the hill, he worked across and bedded in this bushy patch. So John and I did a huge loop down and around. We should be coming in right above him, right over that crest. Should be about 200 yards. So hopefully we can get a quick glass on him and then make it happen. This ram's right lamb tip was busted off, but thankfully his left one was still there. It took a minute to get a straight on left view, but once I did, it was game on. What a hit. Good deal. Got him that time, I think. He's down. He's down. He's down. Nice shot, Cody. We, we did it, John. <laughs> 300 yards. He's right over there. Oh my gosh. He's gorgeous. We did it. This freaking hill. We put a stock on one last year. Exact same setup. Different weather. We just kind of screwed it up. This year, it all came together. We went, hiked way around. Popped up on top, he was like 250 yards. I still had to confirm age, and he's he's eight for sure, maybe nine. Oh my gosh, he's everything I could have ever wanted. No words can describe how blessed I feel right now. Not only did we get one opportunity out of ran this trip and blew that badly, but the Lord blessed us with another one and we took advantage. Definitely been the hardest trip I've ever done. This is my fourth stone sheep hunt. My first ram. It's, it's just as sweet as I thought it would be. Just talked to our packer, Nick. He was able to make it into camp thankfully so he's gonna pick us up tomorrow afternoon so we have about a day and a half hike out not bad at all a lot better than the three to four day if he hadn't made it so thankful for that about a mile and a half left it's been a long hiking day, but I'd love to see that on the pack. He's too scared to cross the river. Look at him. Oh, where do I cross? Just cross the river. Ah. <laughs> After a long pack out yesterday, we met up with the horses this morning, got them all packed up, and now we're headed out. Thanks for watching. Can't thank my wife Amanda enough for letting me come to, on this trip. 
She's home watching our two-month-old Mila Adeline. Love you, babe. Thank you so much. I miss you. I got him! Woo!